So let's quickly review what we have done up till now. We now have a file which we stored coming from the event.target.files and we chose the index of zero which is the file that we need. We now can just like set the file in the state to file to just like use it freely in anywhere inside our application component or app component and here as you see whenever we we just like put something in the input uh, on that change we will store a file in the state so now what we need to do is maybe yes we we can just like directly enter on how to upload that to and make the access request access request and upload that to cloudinary and everything but we do not need that right now we need to know how can we just like preview this file first before we put it on cloudinary so let's make a function and this function will be called preview files and we will give this function the file that we have there is nothing called preview files right now so we need to make it so i'll say here preview files and it will be a function like that you can put it of course in the esx uh, method so whatever it will take a file and the file is coming from here so let's now see how can we deal with it we need first to set up a reader now you will tell me what is the reader the reader is the integration the api that enable you to read a file like an image like any file that's coming from the input uh, cv text image whatever video you need a file reader to read that file and turn it into a url or turn it to a buffer or turn it to anything that you need to preview on your application or in your website we need here just like to put an image and this image will take a source right now we do not have a source for this image so let's create a state in this state we will put something called image and in which we will just like right now once we get done from the just like uh, putting an image uh, after we finish making the reader read our file and turn it into an image we will update the image and start putting here the url that we will turn it into a source and preview it in the image element so i want you to focus now we will upload now a file and we need to handle it through the preview files function we instantiated a reader from new file reader and let's see this file reader here on MDN so as you see on the MDN let me firstly put you on the file reader page the file reader is just like something to read the contents and it's asynchronous so pay attention to that to read the contents of files that is coming from where it's coming from your computer through an input okay it's just like a file or a plop so once you read it you need now like like you see here it's telling you that it's coming from an input and once you do that this file reader has three states three ready states which is once when it's empty once when it's loading and once with when it's done we will not need this right now there are many ways that you can get information or that you can get a result from the file reader but let's see here the file reader result is actually what we need and this will we will come to this later but let's let me show you now what you can do with it once you instantiate a file reader you have the ability to reach some methods some like array buffer for videos or something like that and what we really need here is the read, read as data url which is a way you can turn an image to a data url and which can be valid as a source for an image element so let's go inside that so you will give it the file or the plop which is the word plop here you will give read data read as data url a file sorry and once you give it that file you are now on an asynchronous function 
so what will happen is that you will wait for the result how you can do that here is the input and we will put the file here on change so once we give it a, a, the the input the the reader which is a new file reader will start to make a function and will start to read our image file let me show you that it's not so clear here but we will do that right now this is the uh, practical application for the things he wants to show you a live result right now so this is what we want to make let's see how we can do that before let me show you that there is the function that we need is really here but i do not know where it is exactly however i can make that so um, i'll come here and I instantiated a reader inside the preview files and now reader dot read as data URL and I'll give it the file that we have here. So yes, this is the way we can read the file, read it as data URL. And now we need just like to wait for when it loads, as you see, these are the functions that you can use. So we need to wait until the load of the file ends. And after it ends, this is actually an event listener. So it will give me a function like that. So on load end, what we will do is that we will take the results. And as we said, the results has a ready state of zero and one and two and on load ended the result of course will be two so it means that it has our file and it already transmitted it so we need this reader dot result and we remember that we have an image state here so we need to set this image to be the reader dot result and let's console log this to see what our image will be Sorry, I don't know how I did that. <laughs> it's very strange here. So set image. So we will set the image of our state to be like you see. So now let's see how we can see this image after we do that. Do you think it will work? Let's see. As we said, we have made a function that is called preview files. We have given it a the file and we made and instantiated the reader. The reader will read as data URL to convert the file that we have to a data URL that we can read by the image element. We gave it the file and we waited it till the end as after it loads and when we when it finished the loading we should put this here we set the image and now we are actually consoling this image to see what are the results of the image and we are even putting the image here inside the source to make it presentable on our front end interface so let's choose a file this one all right so as you see instantly it appeared on our uh, container as you see and let's review again what we have done so what we have done here is that we have put an input as a file and in the handle change we we said that we want the zero index of these files that we have which is actually a file we set the file state to be file and we made a, a function that is called preview files which will enable me to see this file uploaded on, on my uh, on my front end interface in the preview files we said that we want to instantiate a reader and we saw in the mdn uh, the mozilla developer network how or what is the file reader and you can search more and see more about it we read as data URL because that's how we transmit it into an image URL that we can read in the source of our image element. And on load end, which is a feature that is provided to the reader to, to, to say that the loading has ended of the file and you're ready now to take the result. So we took 
the result which we saw also in the MDN and we set our state of image to that result and we console log this result but let's see what is the console log of this result we don't have anything here right let's try to Uh, just like take this from here and to put it here just like to see what will happen let's choose another one like this one yeah this is what we have this is something that I want to tell you that it's called the image base 64 URL which is the the way it reads the 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 image and they make it just like with the uh, uh, with the size it needs so this is a way to read the image it's called image base 64 url and this is how we're gonna send this image to the cloudinary so remember that the url that we made here is not just like a url a true url it is a way to transmit the image to image base 64 url which is something can be readable by the source of course you will not find that until you make this function that we made now let's see that how we can just like put this image or send this image in the base 64 url that we saw to the to, in, in axios request and post it to our server and make cloudinary receive it and upload it let's see that